What is going on, Cardano community? Welcome back to the official DAP Central channel. I'm your host here, Fareed. And as a part of today's video, I've got a very special treat with one of the founding members from the Cornucopius Knights Guild, and that's going to be none other than Moody Hound. Welcome to the channel, Moody. Good evening or good morning. Thank you so much for having me today, Fareed. Yeah, I'm pleased to be here. Man, thank you for coming on and thank you for sharing what you've got with us today, um, which I'm excited to be talking about. As I mentioned, he's going to be one of the founding members of the Knights Guild. And what we're going to be talking a little bit about today is going to be the actual Knights Guild themselves. But the main highlight is going to be an upcoming NFT mint for their Gauntlet NFTs. So before we jump any further, you guys, this is going to be a pretty brief video. But first things first, we've got to get an intro and a little bit of background experience from Moody himself. So Moody, do you mind sharing with us a little bit about what you do and what the Knights Guild is all about? Yeah, it's, um, yeah, of course, I love it. Um, so the Knights Guild, we we were one of the um, early guilds that was formed in Cornucopius. I think most of your viewers love Cornucopius. They love your content because it's so valuable um, on Cornucopius. But um, late, early last year, so yeah, early last year, um, there was a lot of background chatter of guilds being formed in the Cornucopius Discord, and it, it was all that exciting time. And then uh, Matt, um, the mod on the Cornucopius channel, he just launched a guild chat um, channel in Discord. And I, I think that just absolutely um, sent a rocket up these guilds, which were kind of hoping for a soft start, a really kind of like community, hey, we're a guild. Um, so that was all um, almost, that opportunity was taken away with the launching of the Guild channel. So you very quickly seen emerge the Mafia, uh, core Mafia Guild um, and the Knights Guild. Um, and it then just went mad, to be honest, because because we didn't have any kind of like um, prep. We just went and it was really exciting times. I mean, I think both guilds formally launched on the disc on the Cornucopius Discord channel around about the February, March time knowing that we had the cornucopius land mint coming up in about eight six weeks and we were there saying whoa hold on we, we we've got to build a community we've got to try and get on the back of this um so i think both guilds went for a really chaotic approach trying to launch build a community and both did i mean really really good communities built quite quickly but then both guilds launch their own nft to raise funds to buy in-game assets and it, it was a roller coaster it was an absolute roller coaster but but i think that showed the quality of the leadership of both the guilds at the time re reacting to such a such a an abrupt introduction so the knights guild was formed um we spent a lot of time in the early days talking about how we wanted to approach being a guild in in cornucopius and very, from the very outset, we were so keen to have a fair and um, a, a fair kind of like reward structure. So you had asset owners and you had players who could both benefit because what you see in a lot of blockchain games is a lot of people owning a massive amount of land, then monopolizing the game. And it kind of ruins the economy. It kind of ruins the whole culture and the value of the game. And players are pretty much treated as second-rate citizens. So, so in the Knights Guild, we 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 were really keen on making sure that we had common incentives and common goals, um, and that led us to um, how we were going to do that. So, I think at the moment where Cornucopius is, we are on the asset accumulation stage. So, we are um, selling NFTs um, to our members. And with the uh, funding from those NFTs, we then go and buy in-game assets. We are in partnership with Anvil, and we are developing a platform that allows um, our asset stakers and our guild-owned land, plus our members and our workers, to actually draw from the combined pool of revenue that that makes. So the asset owners will get a slightly reduced share of what they would get if they had their own land or, or, or was in a guild that didn't have this approach, but they will be given that small percentage of their take home to incentivize the workers to come and work in our guild. Um, so it's an additional incentive to the workers. 
Um, and and that, was, that, that, that was almost like the foundations we wanted in our guild. We wanted to be fair, we wanted to be consistent, and we actually wanted to give the opportunities to players and asset owners to actually, you know, hopefully create a revenue stream. And, and that's, that's the approach we've taken. Got it. Got it. Thank you for that wonderful intro. I've had the, uh, the pleasure of speaking with another uh, guild member of yours, which is Josh, Late Game Crypto, uh, who also runs a YouTube channel. He's done an amazing job of really advocating for this guild and what you guys are bringing in. For full transparency, right now, I am not a member of the Knights Guild. Um, I'm actually not a member of any of the guilds within the Cornucopius Metaverse, but I definitely have my eyes set on a few, you know, that have reached out to me that said i think you guys are one of probably the strongest guilds right now um, compared to what we've got the corn mafia we've also got tunnel vision and some of the other up and coming guilds so to see what you guys are doing has been an experience and to me i've been quite impressed with how you guys are able to just kind of deliver and how methodical you guys are when it comes to an actual guild and how organized you guys are as well now, again, for transparency, this is going to be a video covering an upcoming mint for this particular guild. And I do plan on having Moody back on the channel for a much more in-depth um, talk surrounding the actual Knights Guild in their white paper, which is currently in the works. And I think it's actually being refined as we speak. Is that correct? It is. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the pro it's not a problem. It's actually more of an opportunity. So to, we're building a project on the back of a project and and. Our whole strategy and how our, our, our whole project was was conceptual based on the information we had at the time. And as you've seen over the last year, Freed, that the, the content and the information that the game are releasing either re reinforces and assures our white paper or it creates a gap or something we need to develop. So we're continually updating the white paper. But yes, that is published. Um, on our YouTube channel, we've got, um, and you mentioned Josh earlier, um, Josh and I was actually talking for our white paper because a lot of the time when you've got a document, people won't read the document. They'll just kind of like skim it. So Josh and I have got a three part video on the Knights Guild YouTube channel where we talk through the white paper. But for, for clarity, it is a conceptual strategic document. And as, as the game and as the guild evolve, it will get updated. So um, we've always been really clear on that because we're so early in the development of a game we all can't wait to be launched. We've got to have that flexibility and agility. Right. I, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, there's just so, so much coming out every, you know, Kopi Cafe episode. Rob and Josh are dropping new things on us. And if you guys are developing a white paper, you need to have all that information also taken into account before actually saying, hey, this is the final white paper. This is what's going out and it's not changing. So I completely understand that stance. That said, I think we've kind of covered the introduction and what you guys are doing as a part of the guild. Now let's kind of shift and talk a little bit about your mints and what you guys have been able to do so far. Now, I know you guys have had a few mints already, right? Do you mind kind of speaking about what NFTs you guys have had minted already? Um, and what's going to be upcoming and then as well you know as how do you guys plan on spending those proceeds to further the guild um, once those mints actually conclude yeah so there's a lot there um right so so i, so I, th I think i need to explain our approach to to um how we're acquiring assets in the game so we wanted to and, and nfts are such a good 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 tool to be able to to do this kind of stuff i mean nfts are going to disrupt that many industries um you know this is one example of where you can they can be used really well so what what we designed was something called the complete night series and that is ultimately a complete night which will have multiple sets of armor and some weapons and that series of nfts is broken down into a number of component parts of the night so the shield, the sword, the helmet, and and the upcoming um, gauntlets mint to are the four that we, we we've currently got live. But why we've designed a series is we we want to have a story uh, with our guild. We don't just want to be issuing an NFT. Give us give us your ADA. Here's an NFT. We'll go and buy a load of assets. Blah blah blah. That that's mm -hmm. that's kind of like a bit a bit boring. So we, we're we're developing a complete night series. Eight of that series will be directly linked to in-game cornucopius assets. Four of those NFTs will be lower price. Uh, we want to make them as cheap as possible, but they will be either achievement NFTs or charity NFTs 
or side game NFTs. We want to create a bit of side game in, in the guild. Now, and ultimately, at the end of the series, we will be merging all of those NFTs and they will be burned. And what you will be getting back is a complete night. So it'll be the whole night, all of these component parts coming together. Now, that complete night within the attributes of that NFT, it will have the metadata of the NFTs that have been burned. So it'll still be your claim mechanism for the rewards in that in that asset pool. Um, and also in our reward structure, each of our asset reward structures, which are pinned to a component of the NFT, will have a treasury. There will be a, a percentage of each of the treasuries that will go into a pool and that complete night, the rarity of that complete night, will be able to draw additional incentives from a complete night bonus pot. So that that is how we're approaching the game. We needed some. We needed the ability to be able to launch an NFT, transfer it into in-game assets, but have that that incentive for our guild members to to continue in that series. So to date, we've actually issued three NFTs. Our first NFT was a shield NFT. Um, that is the one I told you about, which we had about eight weeks to um, to sell out. Um, that that was directly um, used to purchase around about 200 land assets. Um, our second NFT was the Knight Sword NFT, um, and the funds raised from that were directly used to buy. Sorry, my dog's down here. Here you go. Um, sorry, that'll be in an outtake. Um, the sword NFT funds were used to buy custom domes. So the guild has actually got quite a large asset base already of custom domes and land assets. We did issue a third NFT in October last year, which is a Knight's Helmet. We've seen an opportunity to acquire some uh, Cornucopius token, which is Kopi. Um, so again, the guild has got a collection of Kopi um, uh, assets in, in our, our collection. We have changed our strategy quite recently because originally we was launching a Knight's Guild NFT to mirror the Cornucopius assets. And in that group were things like mounts, tools, clothes. But as the game has evolved and as our leadership have started discussing the value in these assets, we have actually changed our stance where we're only going to be purchasing land or dome based assets. So the upcoming NFT is a Knight's Gauntlet. And we are aiming to sell 1,110. Don't ask about the number now, Fareed. I'll go into that in detail in, when we go through the white paper. Um, and we're aiming to raise around about 195,000 ADA. That ADA will be directly used to purchase land which is currently in circulation. So we've got two mechanisms to do that. We'll either sweep the floor of the secondary or we will offer a spot price for a period of time, so 24 hours, 48 hours, and we will go through a swap platform so we can buy in bulk directly from the seller. Doing that mechanism obviously um, gives us the ability to, to acquire bulk buys, but it also gives the seller the attraction where they're not paying commission in, in the secondary market. So, um, yeah, that's a lot on the complete knight and the knights uh, and the gauntlets NFT. Um, so we, the launch date for the NFT is going to be February the twenty eighth. That's a Tuesday. We do have a whitelist, and that whitelist will be opening at sixteen hundred UTC, and we will be opening to the public at twenty two hundred UTC. On the topic of whitelist, so Fareed, I, I mean, as I've said, I. I know all of my member, all of our members, and me included, love your channel, and and the great content you provide, and it would be really good if we could offer a, a number of white lit, a whitelist places to your listeners, um, and how I propose we manage that. If you pick a magic word, we can call it the free magic word, um, and if if your listeners um, go into the corner cut the Knights Guild uh, Discord, open a ticket type in your magic word and paste their white uh, their wallet address we will get a number of your listeners onto the whitelist for the mint and the whitelist does have a discounted price of 175 ada the public price is 200 ada so it'd be a great opportunity to get some of your listeners involved in the knights guild and more importantly in cornucopius which is a fantastic game
Yeah, I mean, if there's any first-time listener that hasn't heard of Cornucopius here, I'd be extremely surprised. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely more than on board. So my magic word will be pineapple. Um, and as you guys heard, you know, directly there from Moody Hound, all you guys need to do is go ahead and jump into their Knights Guild Discord, go ahead and drop a ticket um, with that particular word pineapple. And you guys should be able to get a nice little 25 ADA discount if you're looking to participate as a part of their upcoming Gauntlet Mint. Now, I do have to say, Moody, it sounds like you're quite busy on Discord there, man. You're getting ping left and right. <laughs> I will, I will mute my Discord. Sorry, I didn't. I, 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 but you know what's really funny? I, I take my laptop to bed. I'm, I'm a bit sad being a, um, but usually to watch Netflix. Mm -hmm. And when I'm watching Netflix, I mute my Discord server. And, um, and I wake up in the morning and, and then I'll go onto a team, a call, and I, I can't hear anything because I've muted Discord. So it's an absolute nightmare. But yeah, I am sorry about my Discord ping and I will just quickly mute it, actually. It, it is OK. I'm, I'm honestly just giving you a hard time there. As we mentioned, I will be giving a fair opportunity to all of the guilds within the Cornucopius Metaverse, the same exact opportunity to come on the channel and also speak about what they're building and bringing to the Cornucopius game. Are there any closing thoughts that you want to share with the community before we let you go? So, so the utility of the Gauntlets NFT, that will be directly linked to the assets that, that those funds buy. So if you hold the Gauntlets NFT, as the game is live and we're generating all of this fantastic play and earn, learn to earn and build and earn, the, the, the revenue that those land plots buy will go into the pool and your NFT will be able to claim a proportionate amount of that pool. So I didn't mention the utility, um, but that that is a utility that the gauntlets um, will provide. Um, and yeah, so my thoughts, I, I mean, it's great. I mean, Cornico, Cardano has created something great. We all love Cardano. And I think what the Cornucopius team has done it is create, creating something amazing. I mean, I, I was under the impression that for blockchain gaming to ever make mainstream, it was going to take a, a developed and established game organization to come in and actually build a AAA game. Um, but what we've seen in the last year, what has been released by Rob and Josh and the team, they they are they are hitting the mark and and they've been really successful with their mint. So I believe they've actually got more than enough capital now to actually deliver this project, which we're all looking forward to. But what is so great about the Cornucopius and the Cardano space is, is what's happening in the background or in the side mm -hmm. sidelines. We've got four or five guilds popped up, you know, and each of those guilds are building a community. They're, they're developing tech. They're bringing NFTs onto the ecosystem. And, you know, and we will, the, the guilds will actually be a massive part of recruitment for the game. But then outside the game, we've got we've got what you and the likes of Josh are doing, creating brilliant content, promoting Cardano, which you know, which is why we're all here, really, and and it's just just enabling so many people to to just do stuff they love and and support. So yeah, that that's what I wanted to add. We're very lucky that we are early in this space, and um, yeah, and I think it's just going to be an exciting few years. Year of the corn, as they say. Yes, hashtag year of the corn. The, the time has finally come. So um, I know there's been a lot of people loading up their Kopi bags. And over the course of the last week, they're they're extremely happy, you know, about the, the direction in which the price is going. But I do have to just ask one question based off of what you just said there that that's kind of spurred something in me. Do members that are looking to participate as a part of this actual um, mint, do they have to be guild members or can they just be anybody from the outside and still be able to get, you know, some of the revenue share that, that you talked about earlier? Yeah. So, so if you own a complete night series NFT and, and, and like I said, there's going to be quite a number of NFTs within that series, mm -hmm. you, 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 you are, you can claim from any of those asset pools, regardless whether you're a member or not. Um, we are developing a front end. We don't want we don't want to do airdrops for rewards. That just gets really messy and confusing. But we will have a browser extension with a wallet where you just connect your wallet. If your NFT is in there, our API and all of our calculations will have calculated your rewards, and you can just claim that rewards from your wallet. So you don't have to play the game. We would love it if you do, because uh, you're kind of helping yourself make money. Um, but no, the, the, the complete nights NFT is, is a claim mechanism for, for the revenue, regardless 
of playing but we do encourage people playing this game i mean it's looking brilliant yeah yeah no i'm, I'm excited to finally get our hands on some of these uh mvps that should be launching here as a part of q2 and i'm sure you are too man so mm. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the metaverse i'm looking forward to racing you in my bubble jet you know mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't wait. I, I, I honestly, I can't. What, what I'm more excited about? I mean, I, mm. I love gaming. I've, I've built guilds and esport leagues for the last twenty years, so I, I, I love gaming. Mm. But what I am so excited about is getting the details on the economy, getting the details on the the resource trees and the productivity rates and stuff like that. I will take a week off work and I will translate all of that into right here, here this is how we can actually move forward and maximize this opportunity so i do love the game but i'm a bit of a gamer where i'll play a game and i'll have like 15 spreadsheets in the background calculating how i can play the game better and in a guild format you're obviously working with a lot of great intelligent people and you're trying to develop strategies utilizing all of that data and information so the guild can perform better i'm really excited about that i can't wait till we get this information wow no that's so awesome to hear. And I see why you're such a respected member amongst the Knights, man. It seems like like you're you're the you're the chief strategist, you know. You've kind of got the plan and the vision. And I think, like I said, the way that you guys are executing and how organized you are really goes to show for it. Um, I've actually taken a look at all the NFTs that you guys already have minted and the quality, man, it, it almost looks like it's it's an asset that was developed by the actual Cornucopius team. That's what impressed me. I was like, wow, you know, it, it looks exactly the same. And like I said, the quality is there, man. So I'm excited for this. I'll definitely be, like I said, reaching out and communicating everything that you guys have shared here with us with my community. And I look forward to having you on again, Moody, um, as a part of our more in-depth and actual guild focused chat. So thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And again, you're more than welcome on the platform to talk about the nights moving forward. Thank you so much for having me, Free. Great channel.